Hi everyone, I'm Irma and in this video I'll tell you everything you need to know about anchor links or how to link within a page. You might also know them as page jumps because essentially that's what happens, a page jump. Anchor links allow you to get to a specific place in a page with no scrolling whatsoever. So let me show you how it looks in action. I have a page here with this beautiful table of contents. So. Let's click on any of these and as you can see, it brings us to the spot in the page where we want to be. All right, now we can jump straight to the ways how you can create anchor links. So I'm going to be using the WordPress Classic Editor first. I have a page open here already and the first thing you have to do is go to the spot where you want to jump to. That's going to be our anchor. So I want it to be this section, how to create anchor links in Visual Composer. Now let's switch to the text editor and we'll have to add a unique ID here and make sure it's unique, make sure to remember it. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to just strike simple anchor. All right, when that's done, let's go to the visual editor and now we have to find the place where to jump from. So in this post, it makes sense to do that from the table of contents. And look at that, there's one free spot here. What we have to do is create a link. So select the text and click on the insert edit link button here. And now link options. All you have to do here in the URL spot is write the hash symbol and your unique ID that you just came up with. Click on add link. And as you see, that created a link here and let's check how it looks. As you can see, that worked like a charm. You might be wondering, but of course there is a way to add anchor links in Visual Composer. That's because every single element in Visual Composer has the option to add element ID. So let me show you how that looks. The process is almost exactly the same as before. The first step is again to find the destination or where we want to jump to. So in this case, I want it to be this section when to use anchor links. So I'm going to open up the edit window here. And here's the element ID. That's where it's going to be located for every element in the element edit window. So once again, let's add a simple element ID and go to the place where we want to jump from. To make it a little different, let's do it with a button this time. So I have created a button here, how to use anchor links. Perfect, right? So let's open the edit window for that element. And now we have to add the URL and you can do it here in the link selector, of course. So the only difference between the WordPress Classic Editor and Visual Composer is you have to choose custom here in the drop down. The same from here, the hash symbol, your element ID and save. Okay, now let's see how it looks. So let's find the button. All right, here it is. Let's click it. Worked perfectly. So remember, you can do it with any element in Visual Composer. Another great way to use anchor links is for the so-called scroll to top effect, where you click on an element at the very bottom of the page and it brings you to the very top. To achieve that with anchor links, we first have to give a unique element ID to the destination element. So let's scroll here to the very top of the page. So here's our first paragraph and let's give it an element ID. Scroll, for example. So once that's done, let's go to the very bottom. Usually you click on an arrow of some sort. So in Visual Composer, we can achieve that with an icon element. So let's make it a bit smaller and choose the arrow icon here, pointing up. It's usually aligned to the right side and Let's make it blue. So 
As you can see, there is a link selector here as well. So the next step is always the same. Here, choose custom, the hash symbol and our unique element ID. Scroll this time and save. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, we're scrolling to the very top. We read the whole blog and let's click on this. And we're back at the top. Anchor links are also commonly used on one page websites and on landing pages. They tend to be longer, so the navigation is a little more difficult. So what you can do is create a menu where when you click on any of the items, it brings you to the exact place in the page where you want to be, like this page here. So you see that's a longer page and Let's click on any of the items and that brings us where we have to go. All right, so let's recreate this page. The first thing we have to do, as always, is give the unique element ID. So first, I'll choose this row. Let's write down flowers. Then let's go here. That's going to be composition. And this row is going to be store. All right, now we have our destination spot here, but we have to create the menu. To do that, go to your dashboard, appearance and menus. Here you can create a new menu or just add new elements to an existing one. In this case, let's create a new menu. Give it a name, landing page, for example, and create menu. So here you have the option to add anything to your menu. And what we need here is the option to add custom links. So what we have to do here is add the URL to our page. On that side, the same as before, the hash symbol and the unique ID. So flowers was the first one add to menu then composition and then there was store and let's click on save menu so we have a new menu here right now so all we have to do now is add the new menu. I have a menu element here already. So all I have to do is replace the menu source to the one that we just created. All right, and to take it up a notch, you can make this whole row sticky. Okay, now let's test it out. Okay, let's click on the first one. And that brought us to flowers. Now the second. All right, they're all working just fine. As you might already be able to tell, anchor links are a great way to ensure that the navigation of your site is simple and time efficient. So make sure to try it out. And that's it from my side today. So thank you all for watching and enjoy.